Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are taking a trip down memory lane and revisiting the Xiaomi Mi A2 in 2024. Released a few years ago, this device caught the attention of many with its impressive features and affordable price tag. But the question remains, does it still hold up in today's tech landscape? Let's find out. <music> First thing first, let's talk about the design. The Xiaomi Mi A2 sports a sleek and premium build with its metal unibody construction. Despite being a few years old, it still looks and feels great in the hand. The curved edges and slim profile make it comfortable to hold and the fingerprint sensor conveniently placed on the back adds to its usability. Now on to the display. The Mi A2 features a 5.99 inch Full HD plus display and the spec ratio is 18 by 9 and frankly I have to say that the display looks very good although it is not an OLED panel or any high refresh rate panel but the display is pretty good and pretty bright actually it's pretty much usable anywhere you can use this one and it looks pretty good the bezel here is pretty much symmetrical as you can see and the device look pretty good and also it's give you very good grip if you are playing games on this device so the display is really good on this device now let's talk about the ui so unlike xiaomi's other devices this device came with stock ui and this is one of the main reason of this device sold a lot so the ui here is snappy and there is no bloater at all Although this device is now currently running on Android 10, but I don't really feel to install custom ROM on this device because the Android 10 here is running pretty damn good. So in terms of performance, Android 10 is still completely usable. If I want to install a custom ROM on this device, I can actually, but the stock UI here is pretty good. I don't think I have to install a custom ROM here. and maybe it will ruin the whole experience if i install android 13 or 14 here i have to make some compromises like sometime i will get few bugs here and there but the ui here is pretty good and it is pretty much bugless so although it's running on android 10 but almost all the application does work perfectly fine and also if you really want to install a custom rom here the bootloader unlocking process is pretty damn simple not like xiaomi's other devices you can unlock bootloader anytime on this device it's pretty simple and you can install custom rom and there are tons of custom rom available for this device and that's one of the main reason to get one of these device right now this device although it's pretty much five years old but i don't really feel like it's five years old it's completely usable device actually it runs perfectly fine everything is smooth although there are few things i like on other devices which are not here like double tap to work the device it's not available here i don't really know why it is not there xiaomi's all other devices got that feature but this device doesn't have that feature as you can see here there is no way you can turn it on rather than that i did not find anything else like almost most of the things work perfectly fine and there is no customization available as you know all the osp based rom doesn't come with any kind of customization so in that case it is perfectly usable now one of the standout features of the mi a2 has to be its camera setup the primary sensor here is actually 12 megapixel and also we are getting 20 megapixel depth sensor camera um i'm not really a fan of depth sensing camera i would prefer wide angle camera or telephoto lens here but anyway and nothing to do here now and also we are getting in front 20 megapixel front camera which capable of 1080p 30fps recording and on the back we can do 4k 30fps so the camera is, is still usable and the camera is pretty snappy as you can see here it does work perfectly fine and it does take pretty good pictures the camera is, is still pretty much usable and compared to today's device it is still acceptable the pictures quality the portrait mode and everything works perfectly fine one of the things which I don't like about the camera here is that the device doesn't come with camera to API support. So if I check the manual camera compatibility, so if I start it, now it is testing. As you can see, manual focus, manual white balance, manual ISO. So because of that, actually, I can't really use 
any gcam here so if i install gcam it will not work here so if i want to install gcam here now right now in this device i have to unlock the bootloader i have to install magics and i have to edit the build prop to unlock the camera to api feature rather than that i can install a custom rom to get the feature actually but currently i'm using another camera application here which is called camera actually and as you can see here this one is also working perfectly fine and i'm using it in many of my devices right now instead of using gcam and the camera application here is also good which is miui camera here so the stock miui camera is ported to the stock ui here and also you can install third party camera application but no gcam so that is one of the downside of this device finally let's talk about the battery life the mi 2 is equipped with a 3000 mh battery and compared to today's devices it seems very less but because of the ui the battery actually lasts very long i don't think the less battery actually uh, making any difference from some xiaomi's other devices yes you will get a little bit less battery backup than other devices but because of the ui you will not feel that and also you are getting fast charging here you can top up the device anytime with 18 watt charging and it also charges very fast so i think the battery is quite okay on this device and is perfectly usable now in conclusion shall you get one of this device in 2024 or not actually it's basically depends on how much you are paying for this device if you get one of this device in cheap price i think it's a pretty much usable device as a primary device if you are not a gamer this will get the job done if you are a gamer you should not buy this device right now you can try out other device but if you are a basic user like me i don't really play games for those people i don't think you will have any issue using this device the camera is good the display is good the battery backup is enough there is nothing to complain i think it's a very good budget device right now you can get one of these for 30 to 40 dollars not more than that i got mine for actually 25 dollars so it's completely worth the price for me because this one is 6 gig 128 gig variant so it's the price is worth the money actually so that's all about the mia 2 Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.